Yo, we back. Payday off podcast. Uh, man, what you guys got to say? It's been a minute. Bro. It's been a little fucking minute. Ain't yeah. It? Ain't it, boys? Yeah? I don't, I don't even know what to say. Dude. This shit feels weird, actually. <laughs> it's, it's literally been like half a year since we sat down and did this. No Zoom shit. Yeah. Damn, strictly. Wait, it has been. Bro, I left Christmas Day. Oh, shit. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. Time goes by fast. Yeah. Because remember, bro, when we started, we were like, all right, six months, we're going to be consistent. And like, I mean, we were to a certain degree, but like, yeah, once I got on the road, it just got hard. Um, Shit happens. Yeah. But we back, man. We back. And it seems like we came back on the perfect day because Kendrick Lamar dropped his long awaited album after 1,855 days, as he said on the first track. Oh, I'm about to I say, didn't just know that off countdown top. timer no, 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 for that no, no. shit, nigga. <laughs> yo, shit, I'm about, I was throwing <laughs> off, nigga. I was like, <laughs> yo, you got to. No, I didn't just know that off top. Anyway. But yeah, he said that on the first track. Um, Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers. Wait, before we say that, R.I.P. Lil' Keed. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, fast. That's, that's bro, how yeah. many goddamn episodes you got to start with an R.I.P., I know, right? Bro. That's like the third or fourth yeah. one. Yeah, who, I mean, who else have we missed? R.I.P. fucking Kevin Samuels. R.I.P. I mean, Kevin Samuels, yeah. bro. That too. That just Damn. happened, what was that, last week? That, yeah, that was like a week ago. He yeah, went into bro. cardiac arrest or something like that? Yeah, yeah bro. Probably and then had a heart attack or Lil something. Lil' died yeah. from- Liver failure, if yeah. a new update. Probably Which, lean. That's what yeah, you're saying. Yeah. Probably because I was like, it couldn't have been a gunshot or a gun thing because like they would have been that would have been automatically confirmed. Yeah, so like, it's probably that's drug related shit. Hey, at least uh, Kevin Samuels went out with a bitch in his bed. That's all I can say. <laughs> Yo, no. Speaking of that though, <laughs> Yo, you see the you see the theory of like she might have done something that. Done something to do with that because, like, he has a uh, cult of people that like don't like him and shit. Like, girls, oh, yeah, you know, yeah, the people that, yeah. and they're saying, like, maybe the girl did something, like, yeah. like with the, you know, I don't know. Yeah. Who knows? I mean, that's, that's know. always I'm just saying, there's people that. talking about it. Yeah, know. who knows? Yeah, bro. that's, 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 yeah, yeah. R.I.P. to the big yeah, homie, bro. That's, uh, it's, it's just, the Godfather. Godfather. Godfather? That's, Godfather. What his, that's what his name was, bro. Hold on. Uh, why? why? Hey, that's what he called himself. They yeah, called that. him the Godfather. Oh. Yeah. That's oh, I didn't know. Okay. I didn't watch him like that. So. Jamari, introduce yourself real quick, bro. You know, man. Hey, for all y'all that don't know me, Sincere Pop, your Instagram. Holla at your boy. I'm out here. You were actually on one of our episodes. Yeah, though. You were on like episode seven. He was the seven. first guest. Yeah, like episode seven yeah. or something. Jamari's just, he's a stand in today, man. He's kind of just hanging I'm out. I'm one and only guest. Yeah. Right. But yeah, RIP <laughs> to the homies. <laughs> Yo, the new Kendrick album. Initial thoughts. This is not. We're not doing like a deep dive. We we're not going to yeah, review it. Give it a rating. What are your initial thoughts? Because it's been a minute, man. So honestly, before I want to hear Jamari's first. Okay. Y'all want me to? <laughs> Jam- Jamar, you're not. You're not the biggest Kendrick fan, are you? Uh, no, I'm a J Cole fan. So for me, listening to it, it was cool. But at the same time, I feel like five years of waiting on something, anticipation. Yep. I I wasn't really like, oh my gosh, this is hard. Like, yo, Kendrick came and delivered. Da, da, da. I feel like there's a lot of songs that he could have did better. There's things that he could do better, but there's always room for improvement. But after five years, I mean, what can you you really can't put like a I'm trying to think of what the like a a height to what he could do. Like, there's really no exp- you shouldn't have an expectation of what he could do. It's more so you should just be open to what he can drop and take it in and appreciate it because he's Probably not going to drop shit for him. nigga might retire after this shit. I ain't going to lie to you. Uh, but the shit don't bother me because J. Cole still got like four more tapes to drop. So we on one. <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> what do you, you go. What do, wait, four more tapes to drop. What do you mean? Yeah, nigga, what, you doing an oh, album deal? Yeah, this nigga got a whole wait, motherfucking. You, like, have your three, you have his contract like, in your phone? No, you got, got like the PDF? J. Cole. Was like, I'm a, nigga signed a universal. I, 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 <laughs> three sixty two tour deal. Wait, he oh he said how many how many tapes he's gonna drop again? Oh okay, I didn't know that. If J Cole's in a three sixty, I have no hope dollars. for rap. <laughs> <laughs> two million dollars to <laughs> tour. He, does, he doesn't even own Dreamville. <laughs> that, nigga, that nigga's a slave. Yo, right? imagine. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, my initial thoughts is that it's it's Kendrick, bro. He doesn't miss. Like it's gonna be quality music every time. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I'm not going to give it a rating. Like I said, it's been too soon. But there are definitely songs that have replay value for me. Um, there's that, There was like one or two skips where I was like, all right, I just do not even want to listen to this right now. Yeah. Like, all right, I could tell, all right, this is a good vibe, whatever. But eh, not for me. One of those was Die Hard. Um, the second one was uh, the, the joint with Summer Walker and Ghostface Killer. I like it. But it was like, all right, just this not is like you. on some slow, like duet type stuff. Yeah. So, yeah. Just not for me right now, but I mean he. I don't. I, I feel like I had so much to say before, but now it's like 
now we're recording and I'm like, ah, oh, I said everything I had to say. That's what I'm but uh I was I was talking to my brother earlier and he was just saying that it was uh he felt like he was gonna save the rap game and I was like, I don't really know what that means. <laughs> He's on bro. that way. I was like, I don't know what that means, bro. Like with Kendrick, like Jamari said, it's like you don't go into it with any expectation. You just like you're open to what he's gonna drop. You you don't know what to expect because his second album was to pimp a Bu- to pimp a butterfly, and that was like nobody that was expected album. that. Yeah. That was like on some jazz like play type stuff. So that's what I gotta say about it, man. I just it's, think, it's just so soon. It's too soon. Yeah, it's like there's no way you could you could first of all. We're we're only in the first day, so you know, we we can't even digest all that in one day. Not not the way he is. That's what I was telling Jamar earlier. I'm like, there's not much that we could do as far as listening to it. I mean, three four times still is not gonna you know get you everything you need. That just kind of comes with time. Um, my initial thoughts though, it is a good album. What'd you say? That's what I got ready for that motherfucker already. Oh god. <laughs> what, you know, what's your rating? What's your rating? Before I get my initial thoughts, what is it? What's my your rating, rating is a uh, uh, six out of ten. Nigga, it's been out for 26 hours. <laughs> we needed to listen to it. 26 bro, he's like the needle drop, bro. Nigga, shut up. I, 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 <laughs> I listened to that shit with beat headphones. I heard every word the nigga said. I listened to it on bro, repeat. Bro, no. Repeat. Jamar, repeat. you told me yourself Music that you energy, listened to bro. it on repeat, repeat, repeat in 24 hours. <laughs> I had to. Nigga, I don't go to sleep. I'd be up till like 10 o'clock in the morning type shit. Oh, my God. <laughs> Come on, bro. Bro, music. So you bro, you there's no way you could break down every lyric, every concept on the album, bro. I didn't fuck with every concept, though. <laughs> oh can we hear bro. you? Nah, you gotta you gotta yeah, give him the mic. Like, what? Like, oh, I thought you had the mic on. He's saying something. Nah, <laughs> I didn't really. Fu- right I didn't fuck with every uh with everything he did on the album. Yes, it sounds good, but there's some songs that don't really. S- fuck that, bro. Like no. Bro, delete some of the 18 songs. I'm going to say about 10 of them bitches was fire. The other eight, I'm just not going to go back and replay. The album itself, I'm not going back, going back and listen to riding in my car. Have you ever, ever heard of the term of an album or song growing on you? No, it doesn't. That album won't grow on me. <laughs> that album won't grow you on me. You can't tell what's going to grow Drake's, on you. It's not, put this way, I can go and relate to Drake because Drake's <laughs> album wasn't good, but part of it grew on me. But Kendrick's album, I just you say, just, <laughs> no, no, no. But on Kendrick's you album, you don't know it's more than half the album was cool, which is why I give it a six. But the other eight songs, uh, I'm not really. It was a double album, by the way, which I thought was cool. <laughs> oh, he ain't put, yeah, I ain't. It all you can tell together. on Apple Music, it says like oh, one through nine and then one through nine. Yeah, I got Spotify. We ain't got that there's shit. P- there's probably something to that nine. Yeah, that's, I was actually I was actually gonna ask that. I was gonna be like, yeah. why is it one through nine? And yeah, that was. Did you did you see that video where they like broke down his verse from um, uh, Nostalgia from Pusha T's album? Oh yeah, I mean, I it was I, like nah, but yeah. the way oh, they the broke, way they broke it down like, with the, the nines, with the and, nines the and shit, yeah, 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 I was like, yo, yeah. what? nah, I, makes you wonder if he really thought of it. Like, I think he had I, to. I, yeah, I think he did. Somebody, yeah, it, did. it lined up way too perfect. Yeah, yeah. What are you guys talking about? You so, know uh, that song? Seriously, seriously, that song with Pusha T, Nostalgia, um. Back, uh, it dropped like 2013. Yeah, back when we were in high school. Um, no, back when I was in high school. what do you mean, like with the nine shit, like a subliminal message or some shit? Oh, okay, it doesn't put numbers. On I can't even. I can't. It's too much. Like some deeper right shit. Now. I gotta show you. I gotta okay, show okay. you after. Yeah. Yeah. I was generally wondering what y'all yeah. talking about. Like the the whole theme of the verse was like the number <clears throat> nine and the number ten. Yeah. And the way he was rapping, he's it was just okay. he kept saying nine and t- like it was crazy yeah. the way they brought that shit okay. was that shit was wild. I don't even know how. I don't even know how you could think of that. Like, bro. That so guy, I saw some some Instagram page post like it was a conspiracy, like some devil worshiping like sorcery. Oh God, <laughs> that's what I was saying. Like, was it just some deeper subliminal? That's shit? some other shit. Man. I, I'll show you afterwards, and then like. Okay. Anyways, let me let's get let's get um, let me get past these initial yes. thoughts real quick. All right. Yeah. Initial thoughts. All right. Very. What's the word I'm looking for? I want to say interesting album. Um, yes, there are some songs in there that I will say I didn't particularly think I like enjoyed as much as others um i definitely thought it was a good album though 100 percent um it's very well thought out thought of um very well thought out um there's not many like there's really no hits on there which i I don't think he intended to make an album with hits as far as ba talking about he thought he was going to come back to save hip-hop like what does that even mean you know what I'm <laughs> like, i mean you know what it means yeah I, mean, like, I know what it means but I, like what does it corny. mean i'm, yeah, like, I'm, I'm gonna call him right now. it's like there's no way you know he could save hip-hop there's no way anybody can come back and I mean, what is the terms of saving hip-hop anyway hip-hop. so um overall though i did think it was a good album i i, I enjoyed it i just uh, 
I, I, I need some more time to digest it, man. I just it's gonna take a couple more yep. facts. weeks, probably. Yo, uh, BA Brandon Alexander, you're live on the Payday Off podcast. Do not say anything incriminating. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Joe Button. That was racist. Um, all right, all right. So we're talking about this Kendrick album, and I was telling them how you said you thought he was gonna come and save it, rap, like save hip hop, and I was like, what does that even mean, though? Like, how can somebody do that? What does that mean to you? Like. Saving hip hop is like turning the tide of hip hop. What I mean is like, you know, we had a for the past couple of years, bro. All we've been hearing is a lot of you know drug movement, a lot of gun pushing. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people getting in prison, a lot of people getting indicted, a lot of people getting shot and killed. Like all our rappers is doing that right now. You know what I'm saying? And now turning the tide is like actually listening to the music again, actually listening to the words again, actually, like, getting something out of it. You know what I'm saying? And the person to do that would be Kendrick, though. It wouldn't be a lot of other people. It would be, like, a J. Cole. It would be, like, a Kendrick. You know what I mean? I, I understand what you're saying, but didn't he do that? In a sense, yes. But if you listen to his album, he's telling you himself that he's not the savior. So whether he's playing us, in a sense, or he's telling us the truth, He's telling us in our face, like, yo, I'm not coming here to say rap. Like, I went up here in my hiatus for five, four years, and I had to get myself right. I'm not here for y'all to say, oh, he's saving the world. I'm here to be me. Why is it Why is it Kendrick's job to save hip-hop? You said, why is it? Yeah. He's mean as his job. Yeah, it's not his job to save us. Yeah. It, it, that's not his job. Yeah. It's just what we anointed him as. Got you. Held to that standard. That makes sense, though. Actually, yeah, I'm a, I ain't gonna lie. I, I, I was a little dicey on your thoughts for a second, bro. I'm glad you. Had, I'm glad you picked up the phone, my nigga, because I was like, "What the fuck is this motherfucker talking about, dog?" Um, yeah, I so, didn't give them much context. I yeah, just told bro. him, like you so, said, you thought thank you, you were gonna for save explaining him. that a little, that a little more thoroughly. Title. Okay, yeah, because I was lost. You know what I mean? Though. You know what I mean? That's 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 how I got it. You know, well, that's we, how I thought well, about well, the album. I, I appreciate you breaking it down for us, bro. Thank God. All right, bro. I just want to hit you real quick and, and, and get your thoughts on that. BA, I love you, Doc. Yes, sir. Love you too, man. What's up, BA? All right, bro. All right, bro. We'll love. see you later, Doc. Peace. Got something to say. All right. So when it comes to saving hip hop, now Kendrick didn't do what his definition of saving hip hop was. I think for some more more so when like Cole dropped, Cole had that bigger effect on like hip hop. He kind of changed. He kind of turned the tide a little bit, but then. Nobody else dropped anything after him that was like significant to rapping and lyrics and listening. He dropped and then nobody like he when, what month did he drop and I forgot. It was in May. It was th- it was this day. It, May it was last this day year. last year. It was either so, this day or yesterday last year. And then after that, no one really dropped anything as far as I remember. Yeah, I don't really remember last year. That's that's how last insignificant year, people were. Yeah, only people I remember dropping last year is like Tyler, Cole. Didn't, didn't Drake drop Certified Lover Boy? Thug. Thug. Okay, Thug. Thug's album was fire. Oh, Drake dropped. I Kanye know. dropped. Yeah. I forgot that shit. <laughs> but <laughs> when, <laughs> everybody I'm dropped. Like, I'm sitting but, here like. But, but, when you, but, when you think of, but when you think of Kanye, you don't right. look at him as rap. like a rapper. Yeah, no, no. When, Cole, when Drake drops, you don't listen to him for like rapping because he doesn't rap on every song. Um. I think Tyler, yeah, Tyler, but Tyler's not that. I don't know. Yeah, he's still not. not he's, he's not like different. The, yeah, he's 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 more like he's not that three headed monster that's known for rapping. Kendrick's part of the facts. three headed monster, so therefore we look Wait, at whoa, it. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Three headed monster. So you're including Drake in that? Yeah. What the fuck is that? But he doesn't but rap on it. But I'm saying, but he doesn't rap on every song. So but, like, there's certain songs like Knife Talk he actually rapped on. He rapped, and then, but most of the songs now, he more so sings now. So yeah. he's still part of the Three Headed Monster, but he, like, for example, the Jack Harlow album, he had, had a verse on that Let's bitch. Talk about that. Yeah. You listen to that, and on that album, he rapped. He doesn't do that on his he album. He did. He hold did. Up, hold up. Okay, wait. So who who's the Three Headed Monster? Break that down real quick. Jack Harlow. Kendrick. <laughs> Jack <laughs> Harlow, G. I got to bring some, I gotta bring some <laughs> entertainment, and, and bro. Azalea. <laughs> what? <laughs> Go ahead, nigga. I said, Who is the three headed monster, nigga? That is fucking Kendrick, funny. Drake, J. Cole. That's three headed yeah, monster. Was, yeah. Kendrick, I knew you were going to say Drake, that. J. Cole. That's okay. I was okay. going to say that, yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's that's known across all. No, 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 I wasn't arguing with it. I just, I didn't hear him, so I was just, I was like, who is yeah. he about to say? So, yeah. Yeah, I thought he was going to say, like, I, Tory Lane's fucking. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Tory Lane's Tootsie and. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, uh, that's, no, smiley. that's that's a Jamar response. Tory, Tory's fire. Stop no, it. he is. No, no, no. Tory's he fire. Is. Tory's fire. I know y'all heard Florida shit. Yeah, no, nah, huh? he's fire. Florida uh, shit. No, I actually ago. didn't. Jamar. It's fire. Yeah, I didn't. I, show, <laughs> I, show, I don't. Honestly, don't check for Tory. I'll show you bro. after. I'll show you the song after. It's, bro, it's what fire. he did. I don't want to hear it. I I promise you, it's a fire song. 
I swear, I'm not even nah, a big fan. I know, I know he can, can, No, I know he can make nah, it. He can, he, can, he, can, he can spit too. Nah, he can get busy. He can get busy. Hey, but no, nah, for real though, we, we, we didn't hear um, Chance's yeah, initial, initial thoughts, thoughts on Kendrick's album. Then we can get past this. We'll, we'll, we'll be done talking about this because there's not much more to even speak yeah. on this. But go ahead. Okay, y'all didn't hear my. Okay, so, uh, I mean, I think Kendrick is definitely one of the greatest. And I think every time he drops something, it's. It's it's like a, it's a moment, and you just you know you're never gonna you're never gonna know what you're gonna get with his shit, which I really like respect about him and appreciate and shit. Uh, this shit like kind of the opposite of Jamari. Like I heard a couple songs, and I think music is just like is like energy. So like it definitely gotta like grow on you, and definitely gotta like it gotta like kind of find me in a sense and take your time to listen to it. So I can't really say like a true opinion, yeah. but from some of the songs I've seen. Kind of like T said, a couple are just, eh, but like a couple, I'm like, okay, I can see myself like, like in this, like, and like really, if I sit down and listen to it, I really like it later on. Cause I only, I only listen to it when I was in the car. So I feel like there's some songs I'm gonna really gonna appreciate. Cause every song, every album he drops, I really fuck with like some shit that he does. And like every, like every album's a fucking moment, I feel so. But I gotta really just listen to it and dive in. Like I feel like I can come back and like say some shit about it. Like I like this song, I don't like this song type shit. And I will say, I, that's actually, a good opinion from from you because I didn't expect. Yeah, I'm gonna sit here and be like, "Oh, this is like three songs." You said that's yeah. a good opinion. <laughs> no, what the? F- no, thank you. Seriously, <laughs> no, I'm z- that's just a funny yeah. statement. Let, like, let me rephrase that. Opinion. Yeah, opinion's opinion. <laughs> What's a good opinion? You're right. My bad. That's an L. Um, it's not an L. Nah, it's a W. I love you. Um, <laughs> uh, pause. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> what I was trying to say is that, that is an opinion. I, I, that's better than I thought you were going to say because I was kind of thinking gonna, you were going to like yeah, kind of yeah. write the album off because nah, bro, Kendrick's like. The goat, like I just, I'm not too. My bad, I spit everywhere. I'm not too like that crazy about like just the good music. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, like I I'm like like when Travis is playing the Pusher T and sh- I'm like, this is this is fire. But you saw, I was just like, it's cool. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? But I appreciate it and I yeah. respect. It. I think I just had like an error when I was like an era when I was like really into like kind of like. I don't want to call it the boom bap shit, but like just like the good music. Like I feel like the boom bap shit that you're interested in is the old shit. Yeah, because like I had a moment when I was skating, listening to like fucking Ghostface and yeah. like fucking Nas Andre and all that shit, and yeah, Andre and shit. Yeah. But like now I'm not that like crazy about it. Like with the with the new Pusher, the new Jay, the new Kendrick. But yeah. I highly appreciate it and respect it. And there's probably a song in there where I'm like, oh, this is dope. Like, and that's how I kind of feel yeah. about that. I, so, I just, I'm just going based off of the fact that only usually when. T recommends music to me. It's not. Boom yeah, it's on probably some like trap shit or like yeah. some indie shit. Which I don't is fine. So if I had to ask you, then what is like if you was to get in your car, what's the first song or first person you play? That would tell you. That would tell us what kind of music you listen to. I mean, that would let help. Yeet. Well, like people understand. literally, like today, yeet. I was just playing a lot of. Uh, you say yeet? <laughs> no, here's a couple of good songs. But I was playing like little key and shit, bro. I was playing like because because he like of course pass and shit. But then, but like, I'm saying like on a normal day. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to my phone right now. Like, what would bro. you normally play when you first get in? Because um, like for example, me when I first get in my car. Yeah, what do you play? Blast. I'm playing. Nah, I'm playing. I'm playing like some type of cold song. Tusi. Or Tory Lanez. It's either Cole or Tory Lanez. I'm the Summer first Walker. people I play when I get in my car. Yeah. I see. Tory Lanez is here. <laughs> That's your go to? Ah. No, I just never. I, no, <laughs> what you said. <laughs> I just hey, never, I never heard anybody say so I'm that. Playing, I'm playing Saw Baby. I'm playing oh, like Pierre Bourne. I'm yeah. playing some couple knowledge beats, bro. I'm playing like OGZ. Nudie, fucking, maybe? N- yeah, a lot of nudie. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Like, then I'll play some just Wait. like rock and indie shit. Oh, so your go to is rap. For the, that like sixty percent, yeah. The other forty, okay. I didn't know that. The other forty is like, like alternative rock and shit. That's the other like forty percent. That's what I was okay. saying. Teachers don't be listening to boom bap rap. Right, you right, feel right. Me? That's it's the only it's usually like eight oh eights and like yeah, like and newer then, wave type stuff. Right. Like for lyrics. He, listens to he doesn't listen to things for lyrics. He mm-hmm. listens to things more for the sound and how it like fe- makes him feel. Yeah, but some okay. Right. Snapping. Hey, T, I just want to. I want to hear your answers. If you had to guess who I'm playing when I get in my car, who you think it is? Rio de Young OG. Oh, okay. That was a better answer. Oh, I was going to say right. Babyface Ray. Freddie Gibbs. Honestly, yeah. yeah. Freddie Gibbs. Freddie Gibbs. Gibbs. Freddie Gibbs. Boldy Yo, James. I, Freddie Gibbs is about to drop an album, isn't yes, he? Yes, I know. Soul, Soul Crazy Separately. producer. I don't know yeah. when. Yeah. Um, what is it called? Soul Sold Separately. Soul Sold Separately. Yeah, That's see, hard. Nigga, where are we I don't know. That's like 15. 20 minutes. Okay. 20 yeah. minutes? We uh, 30 would be short. We can't do a 30. Yeah, 30 would be short. We can't do it. We're just getting into it. Hey, um, okay. Since we... On the subject, because we're going to get past this whole Kendrick thing. We've been talking about this for a little bit. Y'all know um, Jack Harlow's album. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I'm so glad Jack you brought Harlow this up. Jack Harlow just died, nigga. Okay. I'm so glad I'm you brought this up. What? 
W S. I can put you in first. <laughs> That's on hard, nigga. Man, get Jack Harlow to. F- no, I'm just kidding. No, no, no. My opinion on Jack Harlow is Goat. like. No, I'm he's go. he's cool. Like, all right, T. This is the, this is how I would describe him. It's good generic music. That's what. Remember I said that. Yeah, oh, that's, that. that's why you I said T. Say that. Yeah, that's that's, that's, that's literally what, that's literally how I describe it. I'm never gonna listen to Jack Harlow. Uh, like, it's just not gonna happen. He's not. It's he not doesn't, gonna happen. He doesn't make my type of music. Like, even I, let's say even if a black artist dropped that, like if Cole dropped I'm that saying, album, bro. I'm not gonna. It's just not my vibe, bro. Bro, and it's talking about because he's white. Dumb. No, it might be a subliminal thing. I know. I remember you said that, and I was like, all right, I gotta I gotta check myself and really see. Listen to me. And I was like, all right, maybe that's part of it. But then I broke it down and I was like, all right, what is he actually saying? How does the music make me feel? It's just not for he me. He did dumb bro. down his lyrics on this album, though. Thank you. That's exactly what I was about to say. I, I saw not, a DJ drama and I, freestyle. And I swear, I keep, I keep trying to tell you this. And I, I swear, I do not try to sound corny when I say this. But I was literally, li- I've been listening to Jack Harlow. Bro, if you, years, if I had a dollar for every time I you said, swear, I'm listening to Jack Harlow since 2018, I'll be rich, nigga. No, nah, that ass though, bro. That's I'm the, trying to tell that's you. That's probably the corniest no. flex. <laughs> 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 nah, I mean, I, it's not like I'm hating now. It's not like nah, I'm, I'm not hating. I'm Yo, not Jack Harlow, that. cool as hell. Jack nah. Harlow, get the bitches. Jack Harlow, cool, Facts. bro. And I'm not saying I'm that to say. I'm not saying that because I'm like trying like, Yo, I listen to. What I'm trying to say, I'm trying to make a point. I'm trying to say is when I listened to him a couple years ago, when I started listening to him, he was not rapping like the way he's rapping right now. Like the nigga was rapping and he was making very good music. Yeah. And literally, ever since we got mainstream, it's literally the most typical shit where he just like becomes a mainstream artist. And he's making this like. Dumb this, down, this watered dumb down. Dumb down, watered ass, basic ass lyrics. TikTok he's saying goes. corny ass shit on some of these songs sometimes, bro. And I'm like, um, that is not something that. Give me a line. Um, Give me an example of a corny shit, line, he's bro. Like, he said something about semen. Oh yeah, no, not even that line. That, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm being serious. Not even that line. Like type in Jack. Har- wait, no, no. Wait, this no. nigga said. Hey yo. <laughs> <laughs> hold up, hey yo. Hold lyrics, up. semen lyrics. Hey yo, hold up, yo. Make sure y'all, make sure y'all don't, make sure y'all don't stop because our the neighbor, wait, wait, the neighbor's gonna come up oh. and knock on my fucking door. Oh my bad. You're right. Right. Hey, tell him we got. Playing but, uh, music, chill. Wow, my, niggas, oh, my bad. Niggas do not even have a. <laughs> you me? This, this, oh, you don't lie. This is this Jack <laughs> Harlow out. Jack Harlem. Ah, fuck. He said Harlem. Niggas said Harlem. Jack Harlem. <laughs> my fucking whatever his name is. God damn it. It's not his that album hard, sounds the way it sounds. You want to know why? Because he been hanging around Drake too long, so it just sounds corny as album. hell. Wait, so you're saying Drake is corny? Yes. What the bro? He, bro, that nigga. All right. All right. Put his uh, way. I mean, I, he is corny. Is he? Drake, he has some no, light skin corny, corny moments. Corny. But Drake is corny. Corny but moments, like, but not, what? He's what? Not just a corny a, artist, though. Yeah. No, what no, makes no, it corny? No, 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 he's corny. He he's drops, not corny. He artist. delivers. No, <laughs> the nigga is corny now, bro. Not, Wait, how? Nigga, he's not a corny artist. When the last time you listened to CLB? D- uh, Literally like, like a week ago. Girls around from. I'll vouch for you. I didn't know. I forgot that shit existed. Right. But that's, that's the, you, still you, not corny. you forgetting that it, that it existed has nothing to do with the fact that it's a big thing. You just forgot that it existed. Yeah, I just said that has nothing yeah, to do with That was it. a bad point. But if it, no, no. I mean, for me, no. for me, <laughs> <laughs> that shit came off as like some like Drake influence type album when I listened to it. Like, that's just like, so, it sounds like some shit Drake would he make. It sounds like Drake sometimes. Drake. Yeah. And so, therefore, he has that influence. For, I feel like he got influenced by him when he made that album. Or some Drake had to be some type of motive to be. Bro, he ain't. They hang around like there was turkey cake goes. Nigga got wait, his, Drake got wait, his hair braided and still, shit. That's corny as hell. Nigga don't even got hair. All right, now you're corny for saying that. <laughs> How does that make him corny? That nigga cornrows. Bro, see you literally. Corn. Oh, oh corn ro- Oh, I get it. Corn. Okay. What gotcha. the fuck? You see? You see how dumb that sounds? We literally. Uh, what? what? <laughs> We're like, oh, you're overthinking this a little bit too much, yeah, man. All, right. all I'm trying to say is, is that Jack Harlow's album. There was a couple songs yeah, that like I like. I like Churchill Downs, um, the song with Drake. You listen to that, right? Yeah, the song was you fire. Know, my brother, my song. brother sent me that like two weeks before the album came Shit's out. Fire. It was like a leak. Oh, was it? You know, he gets all the Drake leaks. I did not know that. Yeah, my little brother, he gets all the Drake leaks. Shout out my bro Miles. Miles gets that? Yeah, of course. He's the biggest Drake yeah. fan, though. Yeah, yeah. So that makes sense. J- Jit's probably in the Discord. Um, Facts, but. The album was good, like I said, but it's just watered down. That's that's literally all it is. So, um, I just don't, I don't understand why these artists do all this shit to get to where they are. I mean, I do, but it's like get to where they are, and then it just fucking just plateaus or fucking drops. It's like that's the, that's the shit that kind of disappoints me. The way he was rapping on Churchill's downs, Churchill Downs, that's really the way he kind of raps. So, and that even wasn't as good as he usually is. So, album was good. It was okay, actually. I rather. 
I guess I should say it's okay, <clears throat> but um, if I had to rate that album, and I, I, I've listened to it enough to rate it, um, I'll give it a six. Solid six. I'll give it a six. That opens. Nigga, I did not give Kendrick's album a six. You get Kendrick's album a six, nigga. <laughs> Watch, there's gonna be a needle drop review of the Kendrick album tomorrow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, He's like, I'm gonna actually, I'll be still watching this shit. No, me too. Like when I know the artist, but I just skip to the end, just for the rating. Just for the rating. I kind of look at the description. To see I kind of like, appreciate his opinions, not a pre, but like no, I kind of no, no, for sure value and just want to hear what he has to say. Type shit because he but, he has a he has a very like he has an educated perspective on music, like which is cool. He breaks stuff down properly and like yeah, he plays that. plays instruments. Yeah. Um, um, you know, I was gonna open up another question when uh, Leroy was talking about Jack Harlow, like how his shit gets a little dumbed down when he gets mainstream. So, my question is, what artist has successfully and progressively their shit has just gotten like this better? They don't need to do all that shit, and it's always been. You can obviously say like Kendrick and shit, but like what 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 like go artist has always had did they always deliver, and they don't do none of that like dumbing down sell out hit type shit and it's always been just fire consistently in my opinion Tyler the creator really yeah okay okay yeah because this shit has his catalog is ridiculous he, yeah. he, like, like in a like, good way bro go from from uh from uh what's it called bastard goblin no, no. Um, go from cherry bomb to oh, to, to call now. me if you get lost yeah. crazy right and it's like he he crazy. evolves that's a good that's a good answer he evolves without selling out that like makes sense. Always six true is what I'm saying. Correct. Yeah, just okay. Yeah. That's, yeah. A, that's like, a good one. He comes with something different every single time, but it's not like, all right, nigga, what are you doing? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He's never really made like Cole. a Cole, yeah, yeah, I got it, yeah, I got it. Cole, Cole is yeah. always yeah. Cole always and he has his never, Cole's Cole's one of the realest, bro. He literally yeah. always he changes shit up, but he never <clears throat> under delivers. People might not like what he does sometimes. Like for example, a lot of people don't like KOD and a lot of people don't like For Your Eyes Only. My but favorite album by him. If by you the way. actually listen to but both it's all of the motherfuckers, moment. both of the motherfuckers is hard. Yeah. My favorite album is actually KOD because of what he did artistically on there and the yeah. shit he talked about. So yeah, For Your Eyes Only is literally my favorite Cole project. Track number two, Immortal. And that takes us into our first ad. If you want one of these shirts, no, that was <laughs> new, new, new Immortal shirt that I dropped smooth. yesterday. Um, you know, I got my imperfect shirts now. I got the Immortal shirts. Go to TroyBlyden.com and get yours. Fuck with that. Yeah. Now wait. It, sorry. Part two to that. Yeah. Um, who has gotten progressively worse with all the things I'm talking about? Ooh, mm. progressively worse. I come with the questions off the top. Ooh, of my head. Ooh, that's a good one. Uzi. Uzi. Wait. What the fuck? Wait. Wait. Whoa. 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 No. 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 I can't say that. I can't say that. This is random. No. 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 I'm not gonna say that. Cause the fuck up. Oh, okay. Eternal it take wasn't sorry. was not bad. It wasn't bad. I can't. I can't say that. But like progress. No, no. He I just drops shit. It's either like kind of good. Random, good. It's, a, it's, it's random like, when he it's drops. on and off. He has like three projects. I thought, I thought we were talking about like elite rappers. Yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> that's yeah, why yeah. I was like throwing off. Playboy Cardi, get the. You blowing my shit, bro. Bro, you're blowing I'm so me, bro. Sick of you, New York niggas, bro. <laughs> you're blowing minds, nigga. <laughs> you're blowing minds, <laughs> bro. <laughs> Man, you really, bro, you nigga, just say you fought with it last night. What? Oh, he's trolling, bro. Yeah, Jid, don't turn the camera on. Can I? Cardi, lie. Why you gotta call me out like that? Whole Lot of Red is one of the greatest like albums of our generation. So like, what are you even talking about? I mean, arguably, <laughs> arguably. No, I was listening to this like this much. this Virgil. <laughs> this, I was listening to like a Virgil Abloh, uh, just him speaking, and he was saying like Playboy Cardi is uh, this generation's Miles Davis. Holy fuck! <laughs> what? <laughs> Miles Nigga. Davis, the, the trumpet, the, the jazz, trumpet, oh, the, the yeah, goat, the jazz, jazz oh. goat. That's what my brother's named after, actually. Nigga, what? <laughs> Dude, yeah, interesting did take. You see that? This is so random. Did you see the ASAP Ferg interview when he compared Playboy Cardi to like James Brown and shit? Like I, the, you the told notes me about he hits that. and shit. Like I was like, that just sounds uh, ridiculous. I mean, I don't know. It. I don't know. I, I mean, I don't know, bro. Who it's not my opinion. People but, be saying yeah. Miles Davis, fucking. Uh, shit is just getting out of hand at this point, bro. Yeah. Sorry, bro. Let's okay. Let's talk about fucking Freddie Gibbs. Let's go. Okay, hold up. Actually. Since we're here, I found this on Twitter and I wanted to ask y'all this question. I was just pulled up my phone because I screenshot this. And I wanted to ask y'all: name a rapper that has a strong argument for being the greatest of all time, but they're never mentioned in the conversation. E forty. <laughs> Probably just trolling, bro. Do you want to have a real conversation or not? Suck my dick, nigga. Yes, sir. Whoa. Um, hey, yo. All right, not for real. Go ahead. <laughs> not the Frank. That is crazy. Uh. <laughs> Greatest rap, who strong never, argument for me in the greatest rapper of all time, but nobody. It's, but it's not really nobody. nobody. You don't think so? 
I mean, I mean, who really argues? We could say like most deaf or somebody like, but like, what makes the greatest? I mean, it's all perception. Yeah, it's like I don't know. Maybe most deaf. Maybe what is it? Question again, exactly? Like where? Some, from? All right, verbatim. Some go ahead, Leroy. Somebody who could be considered, who could be in the running for greatest rapper of all time, but never gets mentioned in the conversation. Name a rapper oh. that has a strong argument for being the greatest of all time, but they're never mentioned in the conversation. That actually is a good question. Um, is it though? Because it's like, who isn't mentioned? That's like, that really is up there. Is is Black Thought really mentioned? Yeah. That would be all right. That's a great answer. But he, like but he, is, he's talk. mentioned he only is. by like hip hop like heads. heads. I feel like yeah, yeah, yeah. Black Dot nigga, because he's he is arguably the best rapper. Like you know, like he's great at rapping. <laughs> There's not too many people on this planet. Yeah, I feel that like nobody can really like talks about rap him. with him. What do you say? Quali. Like who? I wouldn't put Quali. Nah, I wouldn't Talib, put Quali. Quali, he don't get mentioned in that category either. He I'll put Most Def way before him. I thought you had to get just name like that. heavy lyrical underground rappers. Lyrical, like, spiritual, like, miracle. Immortal type. Immortal. <laughs> <laughs> but he, that nigga be. be Bro, you know, but. randomly I was listening to Dance with the Devil like, oh like a week ago. Randomly. Hey, that shit was, that shit was crazy though. It's crazy. Bro. It really is deep as fuck. We don't want to get into that. No, <laughs> a, a song with a twist ending is crazy. Like, yeah, yeah. It's literally like a. It sounds like a movie, low key. Yeah, like, for real. With he, the lyrics, he and paints everything. a picture yeah, with it, bro. Exactly, but yeah, we ain't gonna talk about that. Nah, nigga said Ti. Hell, hell no. Man. Just live. Yeah, he can life. rap, but not the greatest of all time. Like, he, got a catalog. he does, but he don't got a catalog like Jay Z. He don't got a. He's he can't rap with. He's not better than uh. He's not a better rapper than Cole, in my no, opinion. Mm-hmm. Cole, um, Cole, Cole is. Wait, he's, he's you said what? Italian? Go ahead, go ahead. Cole, the greatest rapper of all time, in my opinion, and then it's Biggie, and then it goes Jay Z, and then it goes Lil Wayne, and then it just keeps going down. But those are my top four. Respect. So I mean, I, I wouldn't put I wouldn't put Kendrick in my top five, even though I know he can rap. He wouldn't be in my top five because he doesn't articulate words in a way that most people would understand. You have to literally sit there and be like, "Well, wait, wait what the who? fuck did he just say?" Who? Kendrick. Okay, okay. You have I got to literally you. sit there and be like, "What the fuck did he just say?" Yo, Wait, and play that bitch back like five times to understand what the fuck he even said in one line. Yeah, he's, he's the first rapper I ever heard say indubitantly in a song. <laughs> like <laughs> Kendrick. What? It's like some yeah. shit T.I. was <laughs> Right, yeah, right, in conversation. Shit. Yo, I feel like based off Leroy's like, question he just had, though, I feel like somebody who gets overshadowed because it's a group thing, uh, Big Boy. Bro, because mm. nobody ever talks about Big Boy. Big Boy rap. used to, he, well, not used to, but he go, he used to go off, bro. Like, he can't rap. And I, it's just because of, you know, Three Stacks kind of just tease his whole fucking thing. And yeah. like nobody, that's the reason why nobody really talks about him. But it's like, we can't really forget him. But uh, based off that question, I feel like that's somebody who's. Big Boy is nice, bro. Yeah. He's like one of the best ever. I've never looked, I can't say I ever looked at him like that. I'm not saying he's not good. I know that. His gotta, flow is ne- fucking yeah, I've never crazy. Thought of Absolutely, I agree. You just got to listen to Outcast albums. Yeah. And you just be like, oh, On the unorthodox God. shit. See, the thing is, like, yeah. I, I've, I've never got to soak in Outcast like you, like you two have just because I didn't grow up on it. There's a lot of, I feel like there's a lot of artists that you two are like into and kind of like listen to growing up that I didn't really got get a chance yeah, to. Yeah, and that's how I kind of feel when you play the new shit because I'm not, not like I'm over it, but I'm just like, it's cool. Yeah. But they ain't but better I know, than these niggas. Yeah, if you bring up Outkast, I'll be like, oh shit, like, yeah, we talk about that. Like, Facts. Yeah, know. yeah, it's like you're, you're not as hyped for Kendrick or Cole or whatever for them to drop right. as you Because like I'll be talking to my girl about that, like she'll play some new like whatever fucking Griselda or this Push T whatever shit. I'm just yeah. like, I'm just like, it's cool. Like, it's cool. It's not, of course, bad music. I'm just like. And we kind of talked about that. I was like, yeah, I'm yeah. more, I was like into Wu Tang and like fucking old, literally old shit. I feel you, bro. Yeah. Cause it's like, I be at a, I be tribe. at a point. I said Tribe was the best rap group ever. Tribe called, yeah. bro. I, I'll it's say that. As fuck, yeah. I'll say they're top, definitely Scenario. top five. I'll say top yeah. five rap groups is Outkast, Mob Deep, Mob Deep. Tribe, tribe Called fuck? Quest, Wu Tang. Yeah. Like, Mob Deep was a problem. Yeah, bro. Mob Deep is. They had the like dark. Eerie, yeah. like, oh, Havoc shit, is an underrated producer. She was fire. What about ASAP Mob? No, they're not. Huh? No, hell no. Sorry. They were good, though. Hell. They had a moment. Yeah, they had Buzz. a moment. They got Rocky and Ferg. <laughs> what is Ferg up to? I don't know. Probably designing some yeah. furniture or some shit. ASAP Rocky said that. What? Didn't, this, was it ASAP Rocky who said that Travis Scott stole his style? Yeah, in the Drink Champs Tra- interview. Yes. I was going to ask yeah. if y'all saw that. I didn't I saw see like I didn't five, see, ten I just saw that. He'd be getting niggas drunk. They someone just, said, how can how can a nigga, a New York nigga, say a Texas nigga stole his style when he stole New York's style when he came off of that? You mean Texas style? 
Yeah. I'm sorry, yeah. Texas style. Yeah. Thank you. He has a song called. He That's has a song called Houston Oldhead. He's not. Yeah. No, 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 no. He's talking about. Uh, I think he's more so talking about like fashion. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I, I mean think, rap I think, style, bro. That whole chopped it. The whole what's his face? Um, yeah. That what the hell's the name of that? Long live ASAP or lo, the yeah. first the first tape? That was a whole, live love ASAP. That was the whole Houston sound, but yet you can't say he stole his sound. One's from Houston and one's from New York. So I feel you. And the whole purple and lean. Yeah, but that's the like, that's Houston. Houston. That's Houston. But he was, but he was the first one to like merge the two together. Yeah, I don't like think he, but he York never, he never denied it though or right. anything. He, 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 yeah, he always gave his props. Yeah, he always gave his props. Yep. Yeah, I, that's why I'm saying. I he think it was more so. The, I think it was more so the fashion, yeah. bro. Because they were getting compared. They were getting compared like looks wise. Yeah, not not music. Yeah, the braids, the supreme. Oh, yeah. Correct. Yeah, Tra- Trav definitely. He definitely jacked the style. That, I mean, it is what it is. Rocky's one of the flyest dudes, bro. So. Respect, and he, he got influence, one of the, he he influenced one of the a lot. Flies, you know, yeah, shorties, and he got shout out to Rihanna. Yeah, so fire. Respect. We talk about Rihanna. Why? <laughs> what is Rihanna? What? Jamari says oh she ugly. God. Here go Jamari, and it, I, it, it, Jamari says. Oh, I'll say this. Hold I've, up. I've never listened. We don't have to stay on this, but I've never listened to a Rihanna project top to bottom. No, me neither. Me neither. Me neither. I know you. I know you Unapologetic have. is amazing. Yeah, but Jamari just said Rihanna. Talking about look wise. All right. Now, remember what you said about Rihanna. Since we're on the subject, remember what, then you send a photo to me or to re, uh, send a photo to me of Rihanna. I don't remember this. Like a week or two ago, and you were like, she was like with no makeup and shit like that or whatever, and you were like, you just said she's talking like, about the Fendi cover. I don't think I sent that to you, but I thought you did. I, I, I saw it. people like were sending ago? that to me, and then like the, she doesn't look that great. I was like, I even with makeup, I've been saying this. Yeah, like, yeah. It never looked. No, she she's a very Come pretty on. girl. I just think she's overrated. She she looks good. good. My bad. I I, I came kind of crazy. I didn't mean she's like yeah, a bad yeah. looking. She looks pretty. She has, she has like she has status. People are like, oh my god, she's amazing. I'm just she's like, a celebrity. Is it okay bro? for that's status why. to make a girl more attractive? That's what I'm saying. That's why. Yeah, I mean, sure. I don't see why because sure status I guess makes if a, you want. status makes a man yeah. more attractive. She yeah, looks like yes. an ordinary ass okay. bitch. Yes, I would say bitch. I think I think status makes men more attractive to women, but but uh. Women, I mean, men are uh, physical first. Like they, they like. They how do I? I can't even get my words out. Men, don't care about what you do. men, yeah, men, he on his Kevin Samuel shit. Yeah. Men more so care about your looks Dick first. Ryan. Correct, absolutely. That's what I'm saying. So like, don't care, no, but they don't care about the status. Of, men don't care about the status at all. I they think care that, about the looks and what I don't, you can I don't do think with, it's, for them and Kevin what Samuel you can bring wants. to the table for them. They don't really care about what you because most men don't care about what you do. Most men don't care about what you make. Like that's. Status, so I don't think it's that black and white. I don't think it's that black and white, bro. Like I think they don't. I don't think we care as much. But like I don't. I care. care. No, you definitely care. Like like, there's a difference between. All right, listen. There's a difference. There's a difference between a girl who's a stripper and a girl who's an accountant. Like not saying one is better than the other. I'm just saying that it plays a part in how I view you. I'm not saying you ain't shit. I'm not saying you're less because you're a stripper. I shoot. I probably I would date a stripper. Smash, honestly, I'm not baby, you did a stripper. You would date I, a stripper? Maybe. I wouldn't. Whoa. I would smash though. Would you rather date a stripper or a girl on OnlyFans? Depends what she's doing on OnlyFans. Showing the titty. Eh. One making more money. Eh. One's on the internet. One's not. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> I'm not saying I'm looking for a stripper. I'm just saying got a little serious. I'm, not com- I'm not completely writing her off just because she's a stripper. That's what I'm saying. But she just she's on, an exotic she's on, dancer. She on niggas every day, just like grinding, well, like okay. old weird niggas. I couldn't do it. Hold Sorry. up, Jamari, because <laughs> Jamari got some interesting opinions. Oh yeah, we need him on the show. All right, and now Please he's here. Back. I don't even care. We can get into this real quick. All right, just real quick. All right, because Jamari's Jamari, fuck, Ruby Rose. Oh my oh, god! Oh shit! <laughs> Got a bitch named Ruby Rose. <laughs> it, it, you know what I think? He hey, to go I think there. I think women with status he likes less. I f- I think that's what it is. I like ordinary bitches. See? I don't do all this. Oh, you do this. Oh, nigga, what? I don't give a fuck about none of that. It See, no, it has nothing to do. Well, regardless I'm not, I'm of what she does, Wait, regardless of what one she does, at, one at a time, fellas. Regardless of her status, bro. You my daddy, nigga. All right. <laughs> she still looks good, so I'm so confused as to what this. Because I mean, I didn't hurt. No. What? I'm gonna tell you. I already know what your ass gonna say. We just had this. 
pretty much for me, it don't matter what she looked like. I know the, the bitch might huh? look, the bitch might be a 10 in the face and shit like that, right? Hold on, wait. Wait, before I see your look on your face. No, no, no. Oh, wait. <laughs> for me, it has to do with her personality, the way she moves and body language and carries herself. I don't fuck with that. So based off that, I could not hang around her. So therefore, I don't fuck with her. She might look good, but I'm not fucking with it. That's just what I'm not going to do. I'm never going to say she's ugly. Rihanna's actually ugly on the other hand. All right, bro. Baru Rose actually looks good, but I wouldn't fuck with her because of her personality, the way she carries, the way she talks. Right. Wait, wait, I, wait, I wait, wait, yeah, wait. You, I you know that. because you don't fuck with girls that put up middle fingers and shit. She's one of yeah, those no, girls. I, so I understand that, bro. I, yeah. totally, I totally feel you on that. But <laughs> you, we, right. for the talk. conversation we were having, you got to separate that. We were just talking about her lips, <laughs> and we were out. We were out when I when I played yeah, in Tampa. You can, nigga. We, were, we were listen. We were out in Soho. And we were like, fuck? we were like, all right, Jamari. If Ruby Rose walked in here right yeah. now, we didn't know who she was. She just walked in here, to a girl who looks exactly like her. You would be like, damn. Like she would, she would make you turn your head. And, then, and he goes, no, I would just see her as a regular. Ch- what? Get <laughs> out of here, bro. Shut the That's fuck cap. up. I'll, that is cap. I want to fuck no personality. Nigga. Shut like, the fuck up. Like, You're going yeah, off her personality. No. When we say no personality, just, we just literally just, you can't right. not have a personality. Yeah, you can. Nigga, it's a fictional no. scenario. No, because as soon as I walk up to now the Now you're being stupid. No, as soon as I walk oh up to the bitch, now you're being stupid. He's already skipping no, past. No. I just said when she walks in, she walks you're going to double take, bro. Of course I'm going to double take. Okay, that's all I'm she, saying. She, that's she all I'm saying. She look cool, but then also at the same time, when I walk, if I walk up, because I'm a nigga walking from lit, and I say what's up, and she say one word, I'm going to be like, yeah, I'm cool. That's I'm not true, because you fuck with some weird bitches who do probably the same <laughs> goddamn thing, and probably even worse, nigga. nigga. Just because the bitches him. are weird don't mean they wasn't sucking dick that night, nigga. <laughs> what the fuck does that even mean? Okay, so what if Ruby Rose was? Man, she ain't See? Okay, where she was? So what is she doing then? What the fuck is this? What? So you think she's just a saint? She ain't. She's celibate. Hey. He's like a dick. See, I mean, he does not like women with higher status than him. Hot, you know, I mean, status as in like you know, more money, more fame. He don't like that. If she's like a dick, I might let. You know, some bitch you ain't shit. shit. Yeah, exactly. He wanna, he wanna chick that work at McDonald's. Right. <laughs> what? He said, he said right, <laughs> nigga. Why? <laughs> You're weird as fuck. I'm a, what happened to Nikki Heaton? I'm gonna get you. Yo, a, I'm gonna get you an Arby's. That's bitch. funny as hell. Yeah, I'm gonna get you a bitch hey. from Arby's. We got the meats. Pause. Yo, <laughs> that was a good one. That was not. That good. was a setup. You that said. was not good. Thank you. Anyway, it was bro, a lob. You finished we, it. He's in here talking about this shit, man. It always, it always ends up. We always end up talking about some dumb shit. Like, oh yeah, this. For I brought sure. up Rihanna. Sorry, guys. Yeah, bro, that's how it goes, man. Jamari just wanted to just have some <laughs> different ass opinion. Hey man, uh, wait, Jamari. What, be Jamari, different. what do you think about Megan The Stallion? Oh, give him the mic. You know he a Tory fan, by the way. Also. That's, that's why I asked it. <laughs> Fuck that bitch. <laughs> I hope she rot in hell. That's what I say. Whoa. All we right. We have to cut that. Yeah, we're, we're not we're, we're not inviting any of that energy into this podcast. <laughs> I rebuke your negative <laughs> shit. Hey, <laughs> all I'm going to say is y'all niggas wanted to cancel Corey. Stop. Corey. Hey, yo, said, Corey. <laughs> you canceled, bro. Corey. Sorry, Corey. Hey, Corey, Corey, Corey with canceled, a T. T Corey. isn't Tom. Hey, hey, see money. See him. I know you watching this right now. See you canceled, bro. Hey, y'all niggas wanted to cancel Tory, so now y'all got to cancel Meg because clearly he has to not get shot, apparently. It's yeah. looking more and more that way. I mean, so I, I didn't see everyone that. that jumped to the conclusion when y'all first saw the article about two years ago now? I think it was two years ago now. Mm, probably That's like a year. Crazy. It's almost been two. It's been really? like two years almost. Yeah, I don't follow So that. all that shit, all that energy, keep that same energy towards her and all that fake crying that she was doing on the interviews and shit. That's what I have to say about her. I don't like her. I never liked her in the beginning, even before all this shit. So I think he was more so talking about her looks. Oh, no. I mean, I, I just wanted to hear him say that because I knew he was going to say something crazy. You think she's like, okay, yeah, respect, shut shut the respect, the respect, up, respect, respect. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck Respect. up. That's cap. I, you really, you, uh, Take I all that shit away. She walked Jane right Lee, here. She's, I think she's a good looking woman. Face. Shut the she's fuck not, up. She's, she's good looking to me. All right. Um, we about 45 minutes, y'all. I told you. I told you. Let's, let's go ahead and just, we just started. Knock out this hour. You, I was going to say. I, oh, you want to cut right now? I was going to say, I mean, what y'all want to do? Keep on going. We oh, just started. Okay, cool. Um, <clears throat> back to Kendrick real quick. When do when should we? This never mind. Go ahead, go ahead. My bad, my bad. I was gonna make a bad joke. Go ahead. When should we expect the next Kendrick album? Never. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about this YSL case. Oh, oh YSL. no! I don't hold up, about hold that. up. I'm just saying. When should we expect the next Kendrick album? Then we can get on that too. I would say probably like my around my thirty fifth birthday. 
How old are you right now? 28. <laughs> 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 that nigga, that, that nigga Kendrick's gonna be on Social Security by then. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Anyways, all right. Wait, so, wait. Nah, why, why, Troy, why did you want to talk about that YSL? No, no, before we, before we leave uh, Kendrick, I just want to remind y'all of something. What's up? I still... Oh, I'm, a big ass I'm on the Bluetooth, my bad. Go ahead. Yachty? I still... I'm a big-ass Kendrick fan. Oh. Let me just say this. I'm about to say some wild. <laughs> Nigga, what are we doing? Okay. <laughs> Five years. Like, why are we taking so long? Damn. When did this become cool to have these long-ass gaps? It's like, who cares music? at this point? <laughs> like, literally. Like, why are we doing this? Just Look, that drop like... music, bro. <laughs> you hear how entitled these <laughs> fans are? <laughs> if you are presenting yourself as an artist, hey, I'm an artist. I'm signing a label, whatever the case is. is it, am I wrong for expecting more music? <laughs> like... I mean, you're not right. Money's like a Jay Electronic fan. But like, <laughs> why as a fan do you feel so entitled to get new music consistently? Like, oh, listen to no, the old If you love it that much, no, you present yourself as an artist. Uh, you want me to take you serious as an artist? Drop some fucking music. No, so you don't take fan. Kendrick serious as an artist. I take Kendrick okay, serious. Okay, so what's your point? <laughs> yeah, it's coming off. But yeah, yeah, rephrase that. Listen, if every time Kendrick drops, it's great music. That's a good little argument, though. Honestly, it's a very I good still argument. Like if I T saw that, I'd be like, T said, T said, I must suck to be a J Electronica fan. Bro. <laughs> Fact. The nigga got like 13 songs. <laughs> <laughs> and three of them are exhibit A, B, C. No fucking cap. Troy, was that album really that good? That, no, I'm being dead serious. Like the last shit he dropped? I listen to it to this day. Okay, honestly. okay. I, I feel like you do. Yeah. But um, <clears throat> I'll say without Jay-Z's verses, like it's... It's not a lot of music. It's mid? No, I'm not going to. Eh. It's not amazing. Okay. It was a great collaborative effort. By the Kendrick album? I can't say that yet. Ooh, no. mm. I, I don't know if it, if the Kendrick album has as much replay value. I don't know. <clears throat> I've listened to that. That J Electronic album has been on my on my <laughs> top 100 on Apple Music for the past like two Jamar years. Tomorrow about to piss me off. Three respect. But well, yeah. I'm a diehard J. Cole fan. Fuck Kendrick. That, what the? Fuck Kendrick. If you're. Why would. Wait, do Kendrick and Cole have a song together? Yes. Yeah, Weren't they supposed to drop a collab tape? When the last time they dropped a song together? Uh, the the G on, on the Jeezy album. album? No, it was on the Jeezy album. Name in like song they have together. 20, uh, name song they have together. I'm, I'm losing my mind right now. All right, uh, they've never oh, rapped. Me. They've never rapped on the same song no, together. They've never. Bro. Oh, okay. They have. Not barely. Kendrick barely rapped on that. He was like, he, at the end, he kind of like he said some stuff. He kind of harmonized. Yeah, he harmonized. Yeah. I don't understand that. Bro. And they weren't even on the same song. Was when the they Black, did Friday Black Friday shit. shit. Yep. They rapped on each other's beat. Oh yeah, they rapped yeah. Each But they've never like they, rapped. They, they've never they, had a verse. Did they for coordinate verse? that or was that, that, that Prob what the Black Friday? Yeah, the Black Friday. Show. Probably, probably, yeah. Because yeah. they 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 both killed that shit. Yeah, that was way better. I think Kendrick's was better though. They're starving their fans that. doing that shit. Huh? I don't disagree with okay. that. I did like Kendrick. Of course. Nah. That that all right beat is crazy. Are you? It is crazy. All that right might be the better beat. That song is timeless. What's what's the name of that song? Put the uh, uh, hands in the air now. Yeah. Hit. God, I can't remember the name. Yeah. That was off Forest Hills Drive, Yeah, right? what song yeah. was that? I can't fucking remember. But yeah. Oh, uh, um, story, um, fuck, Tales from... Yep, 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 yep Tales of yep, Two Cities yep, or something. Tales of Two something Cities, like yeah. That. Anyways, um, now we're done talking about this, um, why sell case? Oh, yeah. Why you? What I, oh, that shit sucks, bro. I saw, bro, I saw a conspiracy, of course. Well, low, key, low key, he's only like, free he one. A, he was a sacrifice. Sacrifice. All right, was it that one light-skinned bitch with no, the No, 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 it wasn't her. It was Sorry. You know she's autistic? What? I, I feel like a dick. That makes no, 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 no. no. <laughs> what the uh, not like. On the spectrum? On the spectrum? Yeah, yeah just, like just, all, just, that type shit. Just because yeah. you're autistic joking, doesn't mean. Joking. Oh, no, I'm just saying. Just because you're autistic doesn't mean you're like fucking like mentally. Yeah, you yeah, know yeah, what yeah. You know what I'm saying? I saw a documentary on spectrum. I know how that works. But, uh, but yeah, anyways, is it Wild Cell Case? I hate to see it, bro. I mean, I'll just say that. I don't know too many details about it. I just know yeah, that I racketeering stuff is no joke. They're right. not even letting um, them out on bond or anything. Yeah, that's no joke. That right. conspiracy, that's like that Bobby Schmurder type stuff. Like, that's no joke. Yeah. That gang conspiracy, like, with murder involved, that is no the joke. The fact that they've been right. watching for that long. <laughs> yeah, I see, I don't even know the details like that. I well, don't know. I, yeah. Well, I got What I got to say about it is, the way I look at it is, if you break down the way Atlanta's built, if, uh, I'm trying to think how to word it. Pretty much, 
I feel like there are people that got indicted that are in jail that shouldn't be in jail because I feel like some of them don't have anything to do with it. For example, Gunna. I feel like he's not actually involved in just by anything that, that criminally that they're talking about because he's more into like that fashion. He's trying to, but he's literally building something bigger than that. Doug, I mean, that's hard to say. I mean, we all know the, we all know the nigga against it, but at the same time, is he really active in doing the shit that they say he's doing? Who knows? But at the same time, if any of these people are doing what they're saying they're doing and they actually have hard evidence, not just like, uh, we think you're doing this, because if you go on based off you think they're doing it, that's not morally or ethically right to say and lock them up because you think they're doing something. Now, if they, you could prove that they actually are doing it, sure, they should be in jail because technically speaking, you go on, Atlanta's one of the worst places to live in because it's one of the unsafest cities to live in because of the things that they're saying or the things that they're saying that these people are doing happens all the time in places like downtown Buckhead and all these places where mad people go out to. So if they are a cause and they're that group, they're part of that group of people that do that. I feel like they should go away and sit down and reflect on what they need to do and things like that. Hate to see it. If it's the people that you like listen to like thug, but if it, it has to so happen to be him, then he needs to go sit down for a little bit because they, something has to change. I mean, killing off each other that's black, as black people isn't really – it's not really what you want to do. That's, I, don't, I don't see that as, like, a solution to yeah, anything. Yeah, I feel, you. So, I feel you. so what you're saying is that if Young Thug did the crime, he should be doing some time. <laughs> yeah. Makes sense. Respect. I, 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 I want to give you, like, a, just a summary of kind of what's <laughs> go going ahead, go on. Ahead. So I remember when we were talking, you actually were right. I looked into it more. Uh, they have a like the state RICO shit. It's not as crazy and serious. There's a, there's a state RICO and then a, a federal RICO. Federal RICO, that's damn near like rare to get. That's kind of the shit that like 6 9 and like Bobby Smurder, like yeah. you saw a snitch fucking, he had a 50 year, he snitched, he did it seven years. So that's serious. Like the YSL shit, it's all under a uh, state RICO. So it's they can beat it if they have the lawyers and shit. But what basically was going on, there's just a bunch of shit that they've been like trying to get down since like 2012. It's all, there's only one crime that's pretty sketchy. It was like, because uh, Young Thug and them were kind of beefing with wife and Lucci or some shit. The everyday we lit nigga. Yeah. And then um, <laughs> it was some shit. <laughs> Lucci locked up. He, Lucci, he locked up right now. And they've been kind of going back at it. And it's some shit like, they've been, they've been getting Thug for like, he, he like said on his story, like, I'm going I'm to kill you. And then like, apparently like, um, he, he hired like a, one of the YSL members to like, they, he, Thug rented a car or some shit, and then like basically told one of the members to like get in this car and go like shoot at him and shit. So that's the, that's the main thing that they're getting. But other than that, it's just lyrics and fucking yep. him saying dumbass shit on um yeah. Instagram. I'm a kill. I should have kill you when I see you in Linux Mall type I shit. Saw, I saw a girl yeah. on Twitter tweet about that. She says she said I'm a lawyer. I looked through this case. I read through it. It's all it's um, kind of bullshit, which, bro. You know, maybe it could be false. Or basically, my main thing. It's it's not. And they, they just like been the doing little things like lyrics and yeah. Instagram posts. Plus, this kind of case with the with the car, and they built a RICO based off that. But the state RICO is not that serious. The federal RICO is kind there's of serious. Nothing, that's appa- kind of what's apparently, going on. there's nothing that like it's like solidified. Like it's nothing like they got caught red handed doing this. Right, 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 right. Basically, it's not, a, it's, it's not a Fed case. Like when it was a six nine and Bobby Schmurter shit, yeah. all Feds came in. And when the Feds come get you, you're not really beating the case. The Feds only come get you if they know they got a case. The exactly. State, the state, they don't really, they just trying to pull you and get you out the streets because they want stuff to die down. But they go hold, they're going to try and hold them in there as long as they can because that's what they're trying to do. So pretty much they're going to extend court dates. Get are somebody to say something. Yeah. Somebody, yeah. Go, somebody might snitch though. But Someone damn. probably already did. Snitch. That's why I'm really interested to see how this Bro, plays and out. That's con- and, and just conspiracy, I will say, can be a big thing because yeah. I know a nigga personally who, who did 10 years off of a conspiracy. The fuck? Personally, I know a guy True. who did 10 years off of a conspiracy. Um, so that shit, if, a, if enough niggas say enough things and your name gets brought up enough times, apparently that could be a case. Apparently. You know what I'm saying? Now, you know, YSL and Thug and them having the money they do and, you know, luckily and having the funds and being able to get the lawyers, they should be able to get out of it, I hope. But, right. you know, I guess we'll see. Yeah, so, just waiting for that shit. Yeah, but. so... Either way, but that's well, that. So I appreciate you uh, uh, filling me in on because I really had no idea on yeah. any of this stuff. But um, what else are we talking yeah, about? Yeah, we fifty five minutes, man. Yeah, fifty five. I mean, good man. Go ahead, wrap it up, man. Yeah, man. Take us out, Troy. Yeah. Uh, we are we're back. What is that? This is like episode fourteen or something. I think thirteen, it's 13 or, 14. or fourteen. Fourteen. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, man. 
<laughs> we're, we're back. We're going to try to upload as consistently as possible. You know, my schedule is kind of crazy. I'm all over the world with it. But uh, while Troy is on the yeah. road, T and I will be taking over some. Facts. And Jamar going to slide through. Jamar is pr- probably going to slide through. Facts. No, nigga, I'm here all day. No cap. <laughs> Pay day it off, nigga. You, you got to say some wild shit next time. <laughs> Get us canceled, bro. Actually, I'm still. Don't get us canceled, please. Actually, I'm still work. I gotta work today, but still. Nigga, we didn't ask you that. Yeah. Anyways, um, it's episode bro, fi- fifteen, by the way. I'm gonna tell y'all something when we stop recording, bro. <laughs> Crazy, but yeah, man. Go to TroyBlad.com to get your uh, imperfect and immortal shirts. I uh, got some new stuff on the way, so go check it out. Yep. Link is in the description. Sorry for um, taking us long to come back. I'm glad we are back. We back. We yeah. back. Man, we ain't I, ain't sorry. I ain't sorry, man. I appreciate y'all, but I ain't sorry, man. We got lives, bro. True that. We ain't never stopped. We, True that, yeah. But we're, so. we're back. We're still here, though. We are back. Don't forget and, about nah, us. Nah, we're back, and we will be, we will be posting. Yeah. So. I appreciate they, they everybody watching. All right, here we go. <laughs> Anyways, um, appreciate y'all watching. Um, follow us. Uh, T Greenery. Uh, Roy Motors. Sincere Poppy. <laughs> and he calls Drake corny. <laughs> 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 what happened to Nikki Heaton? Oh my god, uh, dude! I was thinking about that the other. Uh, all right, I'm I said t- it like thirty right. minutes ago. Nobody answered Troy me. Troy Blyden, follow me on all everything. And follow the Payday Off podcast, like, uh, comment, and subscribe, please. I all swear, right. Quavo. Anyways, we're done here. All right, we will see y'all again here probably next week. All right, wrap it up. Holla! Love you guys. Peace.